हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू बेसिकली बिल्ड दिस मटेरियल ड्रॉप डाउन ऑटो कंप्लीट टैग इनपुट फील्ड आउट देयर सो बेसिकली व्हेनेवर यू गो टू यूट्यूब एंड अपलोड अ वीडियो व्हेनेवर यू ट्राई टू ऐड टैग्स हियर बेसिकली दिस इज अ टैग इनपुट फील्ड यू विल हैव वेरियस ऑप्शंस आउट देयर एज आई टाइप हियर पी हियर बेसिकली आई विल बी रिसीविंग अ लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शंस सो आई कैन सिंपली सेलेक्ट ऑन एनी ऑफ दीस ऑप्शंस सो यू कैन सी दैट सो यू कैन सी various option can be added here using this tag input field if you want to remove any of these tags you can click this cross icon you can see some animation will take place and you will see that these icons will be removed here you can see these auto complete will be there and if you want to add some custom one you can also add this like this just press enter so we will be adding these tags i will be showing you how to use this inside your angular 14 application we will be using a very simple library with the help of which you can add these uh, auto complete tag input fields here various tags that you want to add here you can also remove it like this you can also look at uh, this has a material look and feel around it you can see the interface is material design so it's a material design input tag input field so all the source code is given in the description of the video i have given all the source code in the description so you can go to the video description and copy paste all the source code step by step instruction is given so we are using a library guys if you go to npmjs.com we are using this library which is called as ngx chips so this is basically the library which uh, allows you to make this tag input component for angular 14 it has weekly downloads of 37000 so it's a week uh, very good library so let me now show you first of all you need to basically build a very simple angular 14 application the commands is very simple i have given the commands in the description of the video so let's let me just uh, show you step by step how this is built here let me just uh, delete all the code here and start from scratch so let me also delete this also and uh, let me you can see basically this is a, a very simple angular project you can see that now basically the very first thing you need to do inside this you need to go to app.module.ts file so when you go to this file guys you need to basically add these modules so the first module we will need to add is the basically the library module which is uh, the we will first of all import this library ngx chips so in order to install this it's, it's very simple you need to go to command line and basically npm i ngx dash chips so this will install this library from the internet it will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds to install installation after this you can start your application and g serve now we will need to import a module from this library which is called as tag input field basically this is the tag input field here various tag input module so you just need to import this and after this inside your import array you just need to add this tag input module that's all and for building this guys we also need the forms module which will be coming from the built in forms module of angular you need to first of all go to angular slash forms so just write here at the rate angular slash forms so from this we just need to import the form module form module and also you need to import the reactive forms module like this and one more thing guys for the animations that you see of the uh, material animations we also need a built in module of angular we need to basically have the animations module that you see sorry this needs to be coming from angular slash platform browser platform browser and inside this we have the animation package so this is built in inside angular so you just need to import the browser animation module and then you need to import all of this so browser animation module forms module and reactive forms module that's all so just put a comma here so that's all that you need to do inside your app.module.ts file we have imported all the modules and now just close this file and now guys we just need to go to app.component.ts file 
so basically here what we need to do guys we just need to basically make a simple interface at the very top which is export interface and we will call this interface as auto complete model so here we will store basically the schema which data we will be storing here so we will have two fields a value and basically a display name so this will be of type string that's all after this guys basically inside our component we will be implementing a special uh, on in it so basically whenever you implement this you just need to basically implement the interface which is ng on in it so whenever your component loads for the very first time what we need to do so this function will automatically execute ng on in it but we just need to declare a array of items guys so we just need to say public items this will be a simple array of objects so inside one object there will be two properties that we have declared you will see that inside our interface so first will be the display name so display name you can call this anyone let's suppose i call that uh, kane so basically we will have display name like this and basically the value will be the index number so i will call it one so then we will have the second option which is uh, let's suppose Tim and then basically the display name here will be 2 this is just basically the sorry this needs to be value and then you can have uh, as many choices as you want in the material drop down so just put a comma here like this just change the values here like this just put three here and and like this and put four here that's all so these are the four options guys this display value and now we simply need to go to app.component.html files to, to basically render out these values so what we can say is that basically we can use a interface tag input and this directive takes some options so we will basically pass the options here which will be ng model ng model we will pass here basically this will take this uh, inside this uh, hard coded item so hard coded item so this item will be shown automatically when you load the page that's all so now if I load this application, you will see no error will be there. If I go to localhost 4200, what will happen? This item will be shown automatically, which I written here. Hard coded item. As we, you can see that, if I reload once again, this item will be shown. You can change this to anything. Let's suppose you don't need to like this. You can say uh, like this. So now if you reload the application, what will you will see here? You can see that. So basically you can even have multiple options here. Just put a comma here. So you can even have multiple options here like this. You can see that. And now if you want to now render out those values that we have declared inside these array of options here, uh, uh, items inside array of JSON objects. So what we can say tag input and basically drop down we have the drop down here and inside this directive basically this takes some options so the options is takes is basically the autocomplete items so what we need to assign here this value needs to be assigned to items so whatever we declared the items here this needs to match here so you can see that if you now re refresh the application if you type k you will now see you will get the choices here like this you can see that you can see that so now it is very simple like this it also has some more uh, options which is show drop down uh, if empty so it's a boolean value you can either pass true or false and then these are not mandatory the main options was dynamic dynamic updates again a boolean option main option is auto complete items so basically it is taking it and now if you refresh it you will see that 
various options will be there so now you can see various options are there you can choose those options like this so in this way guys you can basically build out a simple tag input field here to get to take input from the user in in this format but here tag input fields were dropped down all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next video